In the heart of a quaint village named Alisburg lived a young girl named Elara. She was known far and wide for her insatiable curiosity and boundless imagination. Elara had always dreamt of composing music that would touch the souls of those who listened. Every day, she would sit by the village fountain, watching the world go by and listening to the melodies that danced through the air, the chirping of birds, the rustling of leaves, and the laughter of children. One evening, as the sun dipped below the horizon, Elara overheard a group of villagers discussing the upcoming grand music competition in the nearby city of Harmonia. The winner of this competition would be granted a golden opportunity to study under the tutelage of the legendary composer, Maestro Valentin. Alara's heart raced with excitement at the prospect of learning from the best. However, doubt quickly clouded her dreams. Elara had never received formal training in music. And she believed she lacked the skills to compete with those who had. With a heavy heart. She confided in her grandmother, Amara. Amara was a wise woman who had seen many seasons come and go. Ah, my dear Elara, Amara said with a gentle smile. Remember that the greatest symphonies are not born in a day. They are crafted through the dedication of countless notes. Each played with care and passion. Do not be discouraged by your lack of formal training. Remember. You don't have to be great to start. But you have to start to be great. With those words etched in her heart, Elara decided to embark on a journey she had never imagined. She resolved to create a melody that would resonate with the very soul of the village and inspire her to enter the competition. Armed with determination, Elara began to explore the world of music. She borrowed an old lute from a kind minstrel and started practicing in the quiet corners of a village. At first, the notes were discordant, and her fingers stumbled across the strings. But Elara was relentless. She spent hours, days, and weeks honing her craft. She would listen to the wind whispering through the trees and the babbling brook, drawing inspiration from the world around her. As time passed, her melodies began to take shape. Each day, Alara's music grew more harmonious, and her fingers danced gracefully over the lute's strings. The villagers, initially puzzled by the girl's persistence, soon found themselves drawn to the enchanting tunes that echoed through the village square. One evening, as the sun bathed the village in hues of gold, Elara gathered the courage to play her composition in public. With her heart racing, she stood before her fellow villagers and let the melody flow from her soul through the lutes. Strings. The music. A reflection of her journey and the beauty she had discovered in every note. Enveloped the listeners. A hush fell over the crowd as the final note faded away. Then, an eruption of applause filled the air. Tears of joy streamed down Alara's cheeks as she realized that she had touched the hearts of those around her. She had started, and in doing so, she had become great in her own right. Word of Alara's enchanting composition reached the city of Harmonia, and she was invited to participate in the grand music competition. Standing before the judges and an audience of accomplished musicians, Alara's hands trembled as she held her lute. But as she closed her eyes and began to play, she remembered her grandmother's words, You don't have to be great to start. But you have to start to be great. Alara's music flowed with a passion and depth that resonated with everyone in the hall. It was a symphony of beginnings. Of embracing one's dreams with unwavering determination. When she finished. The silence was replaced by thunderous applause. Elara had not won merely a competition. She had won the hearts of all who had the privilege of hearing her music. Maestro Valentin himself approached Elara. A proud smile on his face. You possess a rare gift, he said. Your composition touched me deeply. I see within you the spirit of a true musician, 
one who understands that greatness is not a destination but a journey. And so, Alara's journey continued. She studied under Maestro Valentin, refining her skills while staying true to the inspiration she drew from the world around her. With every note she played, she reminded herself and others that the path to greatness begins with a single step, a single note, a single stroke of courage. And as she composed her own symphony of life, she knew that the melody of her beginnings would forever echo in the hearts of those who heard it. A testament to the truth that to be great, one must first start.